And no time for the games, okay? Now, Calvin Klein, I'm You gotta expect the unexpected. Calvin Klein, I'm my dick. Yeah, Calvin Klein, I'm my dick. Hey guys, if you are interested in how I did my hair like this, just keep watching this video and I will do my absolute best to go into as much details as possible. I will also link everything that you will need for this look down below. The hair, the color, all of the things and I am doing the rubber band method and this is just because it's easier for me. I will say like the disclaimer with this style in particular twofold is that it doesn't really last that long but I'm the type of person who naturally I only like to wear my hairstyles for about two weeks anyway and I like the messy look after a while because it kind of gives you that you know like hippie boho don't care attitude kind of a look so I'm into that look but I would say this is not a look that will last very long like in comparison for example to like box braids these will not last as long and then also depending on the texture of your hair, if your hair does not naturally stay in a twist, your hair will probably unravel. Mine unravels really rapidly. So what I do to combat that is I put a lot of trinkets in my hair, but I like that look anyway. So if you're down to do that like me, then go ahead and just slap a bunch of these things in, put some of the little clips, just kind of get creative with it and I have to do that as time goes on so as a strand will unravel I will just go ahead and wrap it up but it's not the hair it's not this hair that unravels it's my hair and it's the rubber band method it's very beginner friendly if I would say I've done this look about three times now just keep that in mind but I think it's such a cute look and I kind of don't mind when my hair gets a little bit unraveled because it stays curled anyway basically a twist out but yeah so if you guys are interested in getting this look keep on watching and I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you find this helpful so the first thing you want to do is part your hair into sections this is probably going to be the hardest part especially if you care about your parts being straight but trust me this will save you so much time in the end so you just want to take each section whatever size you want your twist to be and you want to rubber band the base of it i would recommend leaving your rubber bands in some sort of an oil so that way while they're sitting there waiting for you to do your sections you're also moisturizing your hair and it just takes down a little bit of the breakage that you get from these rubber bands <music> I usually like to take this time to moisturize my scalp. It's just a little bit easier to reach all of the crevices before I add all of this heavy hair to my head. I'm using this CBD hair oil that I got out in LA. I will link them down below if I can. So you wanna have your hair ready. And what I like to do is I like to separate each section to fluff it out a little bit. Then you wanna take your crochet hook, feed that through underneath your rubber band, attach your twisting hair, and then pull that through. You're going to only want to pull one side all the way through and then you want to take your hair, split that also into two smaller sections and then I'm going to go ahead and take this locking cream that I like to use. It helps hold the twist in a little bit better and I'm going to twist each side individually. So half of my hair and half of the twisting hair to create a twist and then I'm going to go ahead and do that to the other side. You don't have to go all the way down, by the way. I only go as far as my hair reaches. So now once I have my two twists, what I do is I go ahead and I just combine them and create like a super twist. This is the method that works best for my hair because my hair does not want to stay ra raveled or twisted. So this is what works for me if you have pretty straight hair or hair that just sort of tends to mold to whatever shape you're trying not 
whatever, whatever. So now I'm just gonna show this to you guys up close and hopefully this will help give you guys a little bit more of a visual representation of what I was trying to explain earlier. So that's a good, that's gonna be it for me on the voiceovers. I hope this up close and personal part is gonna help you a little bit more. I wish you all of the best and don't forget to show me all of those pictures. If you have this look or if you've done this look, Take a photo of it and tag me in it. My Instagram will be linked down below and it's also gonna be throughout this entire video. You probably are annoyed by it, with it by now. So yeah, all right, bye. Also, when you're done with all of your twists, I would recommend dipping the ends of your hair into some boiling hot water just so that you can seal the deal. You know these twists are not going to unravel in any way, shape or form. Then you just gotta do your edges and you stunt on these hoes like the bad bitch that you are, per. Add any trinkets as well. The ending is basically you're like a Christmas tree. Just go ahead, go ham, decorate. Decorate, bitch, decorate. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you found this helpful. And like I said, I will link everything that I use down below. Good luck if you're doing this to yourself as well. It took me about four hours to do this in total wasn't bad um usually when i've done the longer hair it'll take me like twice as long so because this was shorter than what i'm used to it's about half the length it took me about half the time but it's not an, it's not a hard process it's actually a lot easier on your fingers than i would say braiding your hair but yeah if you guys liked this look and you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel if you're vibing with me if you want more stuff like this Turn those post notifications on, stay in the loop, and come on back. I'll see you guys later. Bye!